What's up guys? Last time we finished questing at Hellscream's Watch. Let's take a quick look at all that happened. Also a reminder that if you enjoy the series, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload a new episode every other day. The Thistlefur Furbolgs are threatening the Horde's expansion. Thistlefur Village blocks the way between Hellscream's Watch and Splinter Tree Post. That path would circumvent the village of Astranar. Without it, we give the Alliance an extra expansion path. We must not allow an expansion path gap. Killing the village's inhabitants should open up the route to Splinter Tree for us. Mitsua's kinfolk were traveling in Ashenville with many sacred troll charms, but the Thistlefur Furbolg attacked them and killed them before they reached Soramgar. He asks us to get the charms back from the Furbolg so that he can properly mourn his lost family. The Furbolg thought Ru was a bear and proceeded to capture him. He asks us to get him out of his cage and escort him to safety. After doing so we had the Splinter Tree post to tell his sister Yama what happened and that he is okay. Tweedle was trying to make explosives for Captain Gogoth, but he was missing one key component, Moon Kissed Clay. The clay was to be found on the northern banks of Astranar Lake and we were to retrieve it. The Night Elves are continually attacking Hellscream's Watch. They have set up camp at the base of the cliff from which they launch bothersome attacks by the light of the moon. Captain Gogoth wants us to make quick work of the Elves so we can proceed to expand without delay. The Night Elves have finished preparing their attack on Hellscream's Watch. With Tweedle's new creation we are to bomb Astranar as counter-offensive. Soaring on a wind strider, we throw bomb after bomb down upon the village and its inhabitants, rendering their attack useless and sending them back into hiding. What's up guys? Welcome to the 23rd episode in this series. Um, last time we ended it on a whole bunch of possibilities on where to go and I decided to go to... Uh, what's the place called? Silverwind Refuge, right? Or is there one for uh, the other thing? What's it called again? I don't know. Splinter Tree, that's it. Yeah, Splinter Tree is where we went. We're going to go first, so let's do that. Escort to Ryu, then speak to Yama Snowhoof. All right, that was the the bear guy, right? That we got out of the cave. Silver wind? No, not silver wind. Splinter tree. That's it. Or should we go there first? Okay, I will go to silver wind first. I changed my mind like usual. It's a bit closer by anyway to fly, so shouldn't make too much of a difference. What do we do at silver wind though? Tweedle's tidy package. Oh, that's the the explosives one. He has. A much more potent formula for the explosive now, which we have to bring to Cousin Flues to help the Horde capture the objective in Silverwind. Which is odd, since we already did that, I think, but oh well. Shouldn't matter too much. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. The skunk works. Oh, this is where the elven guys were, isn't it? Last time I said we were ha hadn't been there yet, but apparently we have. And the flight paths are doing weird stuff again. Oh well. Flues, what is up? Hey, how you doing? Well, look at this. Little Tweedle has really come through this time. This stuff blew up in Astranar, you say. Or blew up Astranar, you say. As you can see, we don't need any help taking over Silverwind Refuge. But Tweedle's idea ideas are as small as his hands. If this stuff's really as good as you say, there's no limit to what we might do. Keep it real. Let's put this stuff to the test. Oh boy. Well, Ow. Just a pinch. Wahoo. All right, quest. Yo. Lovely. Whoa, did you see that? We need to get this pro into production right away. Here, take the rest of this stuff to Jinx. You'll find him setting up our new facility just west, west of here. Flues wants you to take Tweedle's Pow Pow Powder to Jinx at the Skunk Works. Have a good one. I see. So we're doing Skunk Works today, huh? 
could have guessed it, I guess, that we were to go back there once. Uh, that's the right text, I guess. Goblins, goblins. Who likes them? No one, really. Whoa, what the hell is happening? Oh, I know this place, but from Alliance questing. In the Alliance, you have to actually kill all these guys. That's interesting. What you got there, boss? Tweedle's Pow Pow Powder is what I have here. Jinx examines the powder carefully for a moment. Huh. It'll take a little time, but yes, we can put this into a bomb. Four. They're out there, Druid, and they're on to us. Some of my men have begun turning up dead. Elf attacks, no question about it. My guess is that your work at Astranar has them desperate to stop our progress here. A last ditch effort to escape defeat. Take these goggles, they'll help you see even the sneakiest of elves. Keep them off my back while we finish weaponizing your explosives. Alright. I need 12 assassins and I get a really stupid ring. A tanking ring for some reason. And an unequipable belt. Alright. Oh, damn, more. Once it's complete, we're going to need this to get this bomb down to Saurboz. And by we, I mean you. Well, surprise, surprise. With so many of the enemy prowling about, I'll need to create something special if you're, ha if you're to have any chance of success. I can modify one of these busted shredders, but I'll need a few parts. You should have no trouble finding them in the woods to the west. Round them up while I'll finish work on the bomb. Three bronze cogs, three pieces of copper plating, and five lock-in bolts. Alright. Well. Uh, elves, right? Where are the elves? Where are you guys? Wait. Use. Yeah, it's activated. Oh. Oh god, come on. More of the sneaky freaking... That's annoying as balls. We did that when we just entered at uh, Morshan Rampart. There were sneaky elves as well. And the only way to really find them is the sound. Like the the, the vanish sound. Is it vanish? Well, I don't know. Die, bro. Thank you. And... More elves, please. I think I heard it. There it is. Hello, little lady, bow person, shooter, hunter thing. And thank you. Oh, we have to do 12 of these guys, really? That's a bit excessive, isn't it? Why did they make the eclipse sound so much like the fading sound? Just to mess with us, I bet. Oh, there's one. Hello, miss. What's the haps? Talon Deep Vale explored. Oh boy. Hey! What? Why did that go away then? Hey! Okay, I guess we're not supposed to go here or something. That's shitty. The sound is cool though. It reminds me of the old Splinter Cell games. Like the very first one, maybe the second one. <laughs> I used to play on, I think, the GameCube, possibly. You had these night vision goggle type things, which made that sound as well. Good old times. Back when Splinter Cell was really hard. Well, for a young, like, 12-year-old guy, anyway. Um, oh, I see one more. Hello, miss. Stars. Oh, damn. Many crits, many crits. Yes, yes. Oh, and these guys are... Uh, what do you call it? Non-friendly? <laughs> non friend Oh, boy. Come on. He disappeared. Or she disappeared. Oop. There we go. Damn. We're on a roll today. Again? How many crit do I have anyway? 7% chance. That's not high, is it? Still happens a lot. I see more stuff over here. 
a bronze cog, building your own coffin. That doesn't sound like a great <laughs> uh, uh, quest. Not something you would accept, anyway. And I heard an elf as well. Where is it? There. Oh. Why do they keep fading? That's annoying as balls. I already saw you. No need to vanish. Shadow meld, I guess. Is the night elf racial? Shadow meld. Which is really freaking useful, I might add. I wish Tarns had them. Tarns get more stamina or something, I think. Which is great for tanks. For druids, meh. Meh. Let's see, what do we get? Uh, War Stomp, obviously, which is a stun, which is kind of okay. Uh, what else? Brawn, I see. Critical Strike bonus damage and healing increased by 2%. Oh, that's kind of nice, I guess. A passive 2% crit increase. Anything else? Nature resistance, yeah, whatever. Endurance, more stamina is what I said. Cultivation. Herbalism skill increased by 15 and you got her herbs faster than normal. Huh, that's cool. And that's it. What's this? Oh, flying Pandaria stuff. So yeah, not necessarily the best race for a druid, but who cares anyway? Wait, 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 wait. go back. <laughs> I saw an elf. There. There she is. Oh, we only need two more anyway. Cool. And... She died. I wish these bears weren't here. Damn it. Lock-in bolts. Well, that's a very tiny place for the lock-in bolts. I see one over here. Oh, come on. Really? I wonder if I can aggro them, even if I don't see him at the moment. Probably not, right? Wouldn't be much of use. Much use for the goggles then. Um, where is the last one? Please. I need one more bolt and one more cog. I think I saw the cog. No, I didn't. Huh. Um, oh, hey, I see an elf though. A dead one. And a warlock. Blood elf. Why? No, it's mine. Go away. Thank you. Ah, jackass. She was just a bit quicker. So now we have to scout around for more. And I don't see any yet. Hmm. And I heard a night elf. There she is. Last one, right? Yeah, last one. It really doesn't seem to matter much if you go into Moonkin form or not, honestly. I guess you have a lot more stamina, right? Or something like that. Damage reduction. Which is a good thing. Oh, what's this? Shaped Thicket Rain Collar. It's more of those sludge beast things we've seen in the past. Well, once only, but... What's here? Oh, it looks alliance. Alliancey is what it looks like. All right, uh, one more cog. It should be around here somewhere. Huh? I heard a night elf. That was weird. Um, there, I see one. Off in the distance. Oh, and one closer by as well. Nice. All right, back to the skunk works. Skunk works. Back to the skunk works. Oh, my phone is making noises about its battery being dead. And yeah, not a whole lot to do here, it seems. Mistral Lake. Okay. What's this Kodo like caravan thing though? Who's in there? Uh, two gnomes, apparently. Three gnomes, one dead one. Oh, a whole bunch of gnomes, actually. Five dead ones. Huh. Oh, well. 
probably one of the alliance quests in this area. I assume, assume, assume. Yeah. All right. Foreman Jinx. Money, They're out there. Yeah, I saw them. Nice work, friend. Your skills have bought us the time we needed to prepare the bomb. It's almost complete. All right. 987, 929. Thank you. One more. Yeah, I do. This looks right, Druid. I should have your shredder put together in no time. Hurry back. Ah, sweet. We got to do shredder business. Um. Uh, Anything happening then? No? Yes? No? Hello? <laughs> Time is money. Yeah, I know. Huh. I feel like we do all of these like little zones, but they're always incomplete for some reason. Like, all right, I did a shredder, right? Now what? What's the... <laughs> I don't get it. Chief bomb engineer. I don't understand what's happening here. Did we miss a quest somewhere? I know we missed the... The... Uh, what's it called? With the elementals in the distance at the fireplace. I don't remember. But we have the quest right now. Other than that, it doesn't seem we have missed anything. Well, maybe there's something back here, I guess. This is odd business. Very odd business. Maybe I have to do the splinter tree post stuff first or something. To continue here. Or move along the story as a whole, I guess. Uh, what's all this? This is all bullcrap we don't need. Which is nice because that means more money. Um, that's the old one, isn't it? Yeah, alright. We had that from... The end of Ratchet up till the last episode. That's a whole long time to have a main weapon. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Okay. I guess we're going to fly to Splinter Tree. Nothing else to do. Zug, zug. So that is what we'll do. Once again. <laughs> oh, and that's this is the fireplace, yeah. We have to go there as well. We should have gone there first. Oh well. Too late now, right? And we're back at Splinter Tree. Long time no see. Not really. Two episodes, maybe. Yama Snowhoof. There you are. You find my... You, bleh, uh, uh. you find my... Jesus. You found my brother. He was captured by the thistle furs. That is terrible news to hear. For although many furbolgs are noble creatures, the thistle furs are corrupt. Oh, really? So furbolgs usually are noble creatures. Good to know. Thank you for rescuing my brother, Brawless. I do not want to think of how they treated poor Real. He will likely sleep long after this ordeal. Okay. Really, guys? What brings you really? Goodbye. Come on. What is this? Is this just like... Turn in your quest and... We're done. I do not understand. Do and we still have to turn in the other quest as well. This guy, Durak, I think his name was. The demon warlock person. Oh, we're too quick. Let's see... What's up with him? Uh, nothing, apparently. All right. Direct. See, I hate this kind of stuff, though. Why don't they just tell us where to go? Before you know it, we'll be flying to Orgrimmar and back just to see if we can turn the quest in anywhere. It doesn't seem that way. What's the quest again? Um, wow, it's not even on here. Redhead Redemption, that's it. Meanwhile, I'm getting lost in this freaking mine. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. Very strange. Can I turn it in? Have I tried that before? Oh, fuck. There it is. Nope. 
I can't. All right, lovely. So what next? We go to. Huh? Broik wants you to find Stickwad at Thunder Peak. Really? That's very close to Silverwind, where we just were. Where's the Skunk Works? I'm guessing this is the Skunk Works, like this little place with the tent and stuff. God, I don't know, man. Let's go to Thunder Peak, I guess. Is there a flight path for Thunder Peak right now? Strength and honor. Nope. Where's Hellscream's Watch? That's all the way over there. So yeah, the other one, this one. Silverwind it is. Yay, more flying. It's one of those episodes. And there we are again. Uh, Alright. Thunder Peak. Oh wait, that is the elemental thing. Is it? Yeah, it is. And there's a another thing. Rainwood Retreat. Maybe that's the missing link. Maybe that's the thing that we uh, uh, skipped somehow. And that's why, well, major parts of story or major quest lines aren't advancing the way they should be. That's definitely a possibility. Although we weren't sent there until we got to uh, Hellscream's Watch. Wake so, hmm. The goblin stares at you and blinks several times before speaking. The spirits whispered that help would soon arrive. Pardon my surprise, but I was hoping the spirits would guide someone a little more heroic. Well, screw you, buddy. These elementals are trusted allies. Listen to them and do their bidding. If we fall, there will remain nothing in Ashenvale worth fighting for. Alright. Be good. So Arctanus, Gore, and the Vortex. <laughs> nice name, it's like a superhero. The Vortex. Lord Magmathar's minions must be must first be dealt with if we're to retake this area and put a stop to the fiery destruction of the forest. The lava ravagers on the flow to the north are strengthened by being on their own element. I fear that on your own you wouldn't, won't have much chance against them. When you are ready, speak to me again and I will summon one of my own to assist you. Alright. Oh, I thought I had to talk to you. Whatever. The massive earth elemental gazes down upon you. The flow of the lava must be stopped if we are to prevail. I will grant to you a portion of my power. Use it to fill the lava fissures. Alright. That shouldn't be too hard. But apparently these guys... If they're on fire, they... On, on, on fire ground or something, they are... Stronger? Whatever. We'll see. I hope we don't die. Come on, buddy. Why are you not doing anything? freezing surger person. Don't flame strike me, you jackass. That's not nice. Well, I mean, it definitely take longer to kill, but nothing that special, honestly. Probably double the health of a normal like mob at this point. Maybe we over level it a bit. Yeah, we do. That's probably why. Oh my god, so many procs. I don't know what to do anymore. I guess I'll heal myself a little bit. And... He did. Next. How many of those guys? Ten, really? Jam. That's a whole bunch. That's a whole big bunch of things. So if we stop this thing and we get this guy on it, does he lose some of his strength? No, we can't interrupt yet, I forgot doesn't seem that way. He doesn't have a buff for something either. Which is like, what's this? Reduce movement speed. Huh. I don't know. Kind of weird. Also, why on earth are there elementals here? <laughs> I get that, like, the cataclysm happened. Is that what it is? Did the volcano or something erupt? 
Oh, there's a big old dude up there. Didn't see that before. Lord Magmathar. We heard that name just now. The earthen ring cannot withstand my fury. Alright. Is that it? Did the volcano erupt and this this guy like appear and summon his minions or something? I might not have paid full attention to the quest text. Stop flame striking me, come on. Find something else to do. You're not even supposed to be here anyway. Stupid creature. This water looks hot. It's probably not the best idea to get in there. Huh. Wait, what does this say? Oh, nothing. Alright. I thought it was uh, important for a second. Usually you have to click the item if it's right there. But apparently this time we don't have to really. I don't know. You can just right click the, the, the fissure and it closes. Alright. There's a whole bunch of these guys. Jesus. That's a lot of ravagers. Quickly. Nice. Made it. Just in time. No, no. Ow. You should die soon. <laughs> I hope. Come on. It takes a bit too long. This does. Thank you. Oh, and we have a proc thing. Yay. Which doesn't really matter, anyway. It's just for boss fights, really. Or long fights. Not necessarily boss fights. In case you run out of Star Surge uh, stacks, I guess you would call it. Rough him in the face. He died. Ah, oh, two more. Almost done. Okay, lovely. I see one guy over here. Oh boy. Quickly. Moonfire. Uh, Sunfire. Moonfire. Come on. <laughs> and the proc as well. Oh, shit. I thought he died. I don't know why I thought he died, but I thought he died. Must have something to do with his animation or something. Sound, maybe. I don't know. Right, last one. Whoa, what are these guys? Singed Shambler. There's a big guy, there's a small guy. Huh. Alright. Well, whatever. I guess. We might find out uh, if these guys are a threat or anything. Possibly. Alright, are we done? Mm, yes, we are. Let's go back without getting any of these guys angry. Because that would take a bit too much time. Since they're like double the health of the normal quest mobs around this place. Hmm. There we are. Uh, Mr. Kor, am I done? Yes, I am. Well done, Tauren. Lord Ma Magmathar's fire is now trapped, restrained within the earth once more. So he did burst out in flames. Because of the cataclysm, I'm guessing. You acquitted yourself well in battle on the field. However, I'm afraid that Lord Magmathar have taken notice of you and the destruction that you've wreaked upon his minions. You will have to deal with him, or he is sure to burn you alive, Brawlers. Okay. Well, I'd like to. Oh, there we go. We have to kill him. The time has come, Brawlers. When you have steeled yourself, we will speak again, and I will summon forth a whirling vortex to speed your way up to the skies over Thunder Peak. Wow. Channel the power of the Earthen Ring through the Elemental to slay Lord Magmathar, so that we may bring him into balance once more. Use the power of the Whirling Vortex to slay Lord Magmathar. Sweet. 
What do we get? Nothing cool. All right. How does this look? Blossom of the Earthen Ring. Really? It's a tiny leaf type thing? Okay, whatever. Um, our brother has lost his way. He scorches the ground, he vaporizes the water, and devours too much air. Help us bring him back into balance and harmony. Oh, I see. So, yeah. Fire, earth, water, and... Or, or what is it? Earth, water, air, and then fire is up here, but he... he Went ape shit, I guess, because of the cataclysm. Blast with lightning. Envelop Lord Magmathar with the power of the vortex. So this is a damage over time thing. Extinguish Lord Magmathar's lordly immolate. Oh, I guess he puts that on us, right? So that's a defensive. Yeah, it is. I see. That's shitty that it's on cooldown right now. Oh, well. And, well, we might as well wait with cleansing it. It's almost, like, run out anyway. And whenever he does a new thingy. There we go. And... Dispel that. <laughs> no problem. Alright. Look, dude. Wow, he looks angry. He looks shitty as well. But also very angry. Is that his mouth, or are those his eyes? I guess they are his eyes. Oh, he died. All right. Nice braziers. Bracers. Ready for turning. Oh, shit. The thing is on us. Ouch. Let's fly back. That's cool. I've never been an air elemental before, I think. Look at us go. Still eclipsing and everything. We're a druid elemental. All right. Mr. Stickwad. Nice name, by the way. You've done it! The spirits were right after all! The power of fire is subdued and the four elements are returned to harmony. The rest of Ashenville is spared this fiery fate. You have the eternal thanks of the Earthen Ring. Wow. I'm so excited about the, er the thanks of the one. Earthen Ring. Oh, and level up. That's a nice way to conclude a certain quest hub, isn't it? It's always nice. Um... Yeah, our time is up. We overshot a little bit. Um, let's quickly see, did we get anything? I don't think we did, did we? No, we didn't. All right, that's lovely. Solar beam should be soon, 27, yeah. All right, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoy this series, please subscribe to the channel. I upload a new episode every other day and you can expect a whole bunch more. This is the 23rd episode and we're only level 27. And as you might know, leveling gets slower and slower every every level you pass, I guess. So this series might end up being like <laughs> in the 200s of episodes. Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Thank you, guys.